the first question for David, um, you were you were elaborating on God's love, um, and I, I, in my opinion, as a Muslim, I think you were, again, this might sound redundant, but uh, I think you were misquoting the Quran um, when it, you know, when God says, you know, God hates the disbelievers. Uh, but in terms of love and all, uh, what do you think Muslims today uh, believe what the, their entitlement or their love towards others are? Um, well, uh, no, I think I happen to think that mu- that Muslims that Muslims live far better lives than the Quran would uh, would call them to live. And here I'm not talking about all Muslims. You can't make generalizations about um, about uh, you know any gr- any particular group. But uh, the, lots of the Muslims I know. Um, uh, live far better lives, again, far better lives than what the Quran would command them to, to live. But since you, since you, I never, I didn't say God hates, I said, according to the Quran, God does not love unbelievers. I, and I'll go ahead and read you, uh, I have four. a list of them if you want. I'll go ahead and read okay. four translations of Surah 3, verse 32, which is the verse I appeal to. Um, say, yeah. so this is a command of what Muslims are supposed to say, say, obey Allah and the messenger, but if they turn away, lo, Allah loveth not the disbelievers. That's the pictal. Here's Yusuf Ali. Say, obey Allah and his messenger, but if they turn back, Allah loveth not those who reject faith. Mm -hmm. Haleli Khan, say, O Muhammad, obey Allah and his messenger, but if they turn away, then Allah does not like the disbelievers. And M.H. Shakir, say, obey Allah and the apostle, but if they turn back, Surely Allah does not love the unbelievers. So I'm not sure I was no, uh, mis- now that's one misrepresenting. Verse. That's one verse. Let me just give you a few more verses. That This is not just an isolated uh, passage, because you can say, well, you just picked one passage mm-hmm. and ignored the totality of what the Quran teaches. The Quran teaches that Allah loves only those who are righteous Muslims, and, but he does not love those who are sinners. And let me give you some ver- more verses just to back up what he said, that this is the, actually the teaching of the Quran you know, from beginning to end. This is the consistent message of the Quran. Chapter 2, verse 190 of the Quran, Surah Al-Baqarah, chapter 2, verse 190. And fight in the way of Allah with those who fight with you. And do not exceed the limits. Surely Allah does not love those who exceed the limits. That's chapter 2, verse 190. Chapter 16, verse 23. Let me just read the verses. You you ask a question, let me answer it. Chapter 16, verse 23. Assuredly, assuredly, Allah knoweth that which they keep hidden and that which they proclaim. Lo, he loveth not the proud. The only English is because of Pictal. Chapter 28, verse 77. Chapter 28, verse 77. But seek the abode of the hereafter in that which Allah hath given thee, and neglect, neglect not thy portion of the world, and be thou kind, even as Allah hath been kind to thee, and seek not corruption in the earth. Lo, Allah loveth not the corruptors. That's 2877. And again, for the sake of time, the final one. Chapter 42, verse 40. Chapter 42, verse 40. And the recompense of evil is punishment like it. But whoever forgives and amends, he shall have his reward from Allah. Surely he does not love the unjust. Now, we have passages in the Bible where it says that God loves the ungodly. God loves the sinners. God loves the world that's in opposition to God. And loved that world so much that he gave his son for its salvation. Could you be so kind to quote a verse from the Quran where it says Allah loves sinners? Uh, The thing is, in terms of, I mean, my knowledge in terms of uh, the Quran is very limited. I, I do speak Arabic fluently. I do read Arabic. Okay. And brother, brother, yeah. brother, brother, brother. By, by the way, that, that that's fine. We 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 are we're we're limited in knowledge too, and we understand that. Um, yeah. Uh, you know, we're, we're all we're all we're all we're all we're yeah. all we're all increasing. We're all uh, in, improving in our in our, in our studies. But um, yes. uh, the, yeah. So so as far as your question goes. Um, I, I, as far as Muslims I know, some of the Muslims I've met have been some of the nicest people I've, I've met in my life. I've met other Muslims who threatened to, to kill my family. So we can't lump everyone together exactly. into one group. So the question for us is not how are people acting? Because you can find, you, you, I could, there are Christians I yes. wouldn't want to live next door to, right? Exactly. And there are Muslims I would love to have as, as my neighbors as far as, as far as people. Our main concern yes. is what the religions actually teach. And the only, the only thing we're, we're, we're saying here is, According to the Quran, Allah doesn't love unbelievers. According to the Bible, God does love unbelievers. So the question here is, which one is correct? 